This here is Bessie Coleman, a significant woman who is credited for many advancements for not only women, but also minorities in aviation. During the early ages of aviation, spanning from the late 1800s to early 1900s, women and especially minorities were excluded from participating in scientific advancements such as aviation. White men and a small percentage of white women were the only demographic to be able to acquire a pilot's license and aid in the discovery of human flight. Bessie Coleman became the very first black and Native American female to obtain a pilot's license and fly among the many great aviators during this time. Her proactiveness sculpted the path for many future female and minority aviators in such a male-dominated field and are still effective and recognized today. I've acquired this knowledge from being a pro-pilot major and learning about Bessie Coleman in my education thus far. Let's discuss some of the many accomplishments of Bessie Coleman to reveal her significance during the golden age of aviation. Um, Bessie was heavily inspired to fly during her time attending Lincoln University in Alabama. Um, according to Up in the Air, a story of Bessie Coleman by Philip S. Hart, Bessie's first recorded influence began in her first year of college, and she wanted to get an education to stay out of the cotton fields where she grew up in. Um, her interest in aviation um, actually began when her professor told her to write a newspaper on the Wright brothers, who were the first people to achieve a controlled and powered human flight. Um, and she also was really interested in birds, so she would study the aerodynamics, aerodynamics of the wings and stuff like that. Um, a few months later in her math class, she actually got the opportunity to meet Harriet Quimby, who was the first female in the United States to acquire a pilot's license. And this put Bessie in the mindset that women could achieve anything they put their mind to. Um, after a few years, um, after leaving college, she moved to Chicago with her brother Walter, and she actually found a newspaper that said that Harry Quimby had actually died in a flight crash, and this further motivated her to become a pilot and achieve her goal. Um, you may be wondering what actions did Bessie take from here? Well, despite heavy discrimination for being a black female, Bessie would do whatever it took to get her license. Um, according to Kim Creasman's Blackbirds in the Sky, The Legacies of Bessie Coleman, men told her she belonged in the house doing chores, and um, society told her she wasn't fit to succeed because of the color of her skin. Um, at age 30, Bessie actually went to France to obtain her pilot's license, and France was a really proactive country at this time, and they allowed everyone to get a pilot's license. Um, she actually went there and she got her international license and headed back to the U.S. to start her career. Um, now that we've talked about her early stages, let's talk about her accomplishments. So, um, according to Paul E. Klein's the Intersection of Race, Gender, and Socioeconomic Status in the Life of Bessie Coleman, being that Bessie was the first African American of either sex, she used her media fame as a way to encourage other African, African Americans to get their pilot's license. Um, she aided in the expansion of avi aviator demographics by using her voice and her media fame to spread awareness. Um, barnstorming was almost always ill-fated. Um, it was extremely dangerous, um, and Bessie knew this, and she challenged death face-to-face -face in order to progress aviation and overcome racial stereotypes. During her career, Bessie actually funded many schools in Germany, France, and Holland, and she even attempted to order 10 to 12 planes for future aviators. Um, Bessie was also known to challenge women's fashion and the conservative and modest fashion of women. Uh, Bessie's flight uniform was very functional in flight. We'll actually look at it right here. So this is her uniform. Um, it resembled a pseudo military style to, de to demolish stereotype of women being helpless and it was a daring social statement. Um, she started a trend of women attempting to break into male dominated fields and challenge femininity. Bessie united and uplifted African Americans out of poverty, and she strived to open aviation schools specifically for African Americans of both sexes, and ultimately funding prohibited her from doing so, but her efforts were still recognized. Um, so at the end of Bessie's career, it was not in vain, um, and she did whatever she could to make her mark. By the end of her career, Bessie had flown to six European countries and had also obtained flying credentials in Germany and France, and had claimed to be the only African American of both genders to hold an FAI license or cert certification. Um, she also performed in many, su <clears throat> many successful air shows and drew in crowds with her superior flight skills and strong-willed persona. Uh, on her way to her expedition, one of her 
expeditions, her plane actually crashed and she suffered from a broken leg, broken ribs, and mul multiple lacerations. She was able to recover and during her recovery, she actually spoke in five lectures at the Young Men's Christian Association in Los Angeles. Uh, according to Kelly Heaney's Chanute Air Museum, Chanute Air Force Base, and Bessie Coleman, after being asked to fly in the May Day celebration in Jacksonville, um, Bessie's plane actually began spiraling and descending from about 2,000 feet, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt or parachute, and she was killed instantly. Bessie's death um, following a short-lived two-year career as a barnstormer was greatly mourned among the African-American community, and she had three celebrations in her honor. Um, Bessie was extremely progressive and used her social struggles as a way to influence and pave the way for many great aviators and expand the demographics of aviation. Bessie faced many years of racism, bigotry, and institutionalized misogyny, and she used her headstrong persona to break stereotypes of women's femininity and African Americans' competence in greater society. She was aware of the factors such as race and gender, and cons which conspire to maintain social control, and without her actions, who knows where aviation would be today? And actually, this is her with her plane.